Was a WrestleMania match cancelled with the four horsewomen? What's going on with the Ronda Rousey and Sony Deville leak, as well as the new Unified Championship? We'll discuss all this and more. Starting things off with the possibility of a new Unified WWE Championship. A new double WWE Champion is basically guaranteed to be crowned during the main event of WrestleMania. Will it be Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, or will a third competitor be added to the match? One of the most talked about ideas amongst the fans right now is what will happen with the double champion? Will they continue to hold both titles? Will we see a return of an old title? Or can we see a brand new unified championship title? Well, a popular theory online is for the big gold world heavyweight championship to come out of retirement. The title known as the Big Gold Championship appeared in WCW, then served as the main title of SmackDown during the mid-2000s, and was finally retired after SummerSlam 2014, after Brock Lesnar defeated John Cena. The title last appeared in the closing moments of that SummerSlam event since WWE debuted a brand new title the very next night on Raw. And it's an iconic title, one of the best looking championships in wrestling history. So fans have been begging for the title to make a return. That's why some fans came up with the idea that, well, the WrestleMania winner should come out with just the World Heavyweight Championship. And it's a great idea. Everyone wants to see that title back. But it's just highly unlikely that we'll see an old title return or a new title make a debut. Just seems very unlikely. It seems like the double championship after WrestleMania 38 will follow that blueprint that was made by Becky Lynch and her double title reign. The double WWE champion will probably appear on both shows and appear with both titles for a bit, but eventually has to drop at least one of the titles pretty soon. Another thing about Becky's reign, she defended the title separately, not together. So, that'll be another thing to keep an eye on for Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Will they defend the titles together or separately? If Roman wins, at least that'll give him a pass to fully come over to Raw and feud with some big stars on Raw. At this point in his title reign, it feels like he's defeated everyone, so maybe opening up the entire playbook and letting him feud with superstars from both brands does give him more to work with. So we'll see what ends up happening with the unified champion, but a return of an old title or a debut of a new title just seems pretty unlikely at this moment. But who knows, maybe that all changes in the coming weeks. We'll have to wait and see. A lot of WWE matches are done on the spot, but some matches are heavily rehearsed. One superstar that has been rumored to rehearse their matches is Ronda Rousey. She trains for the matches and often practices big spots in the match with her opponent. This has been news for a few years now, but the new addition to this story is actually footage and proof of Ronda Rousey rehearsing. This all went down during the Elimination Chamber rehearsal in Saudi Arabia. Naomi, Ronda Rousey, Sony Deville, and Charlotte Flair were all in the empty arena, surrounded by WWE officials as they practiced and rehearsed the match. The cameras were also strangely rolling during this rehearsal session, and someone who was monitoring the cameras pulled out their phones and started recording the Ronda Rousey and Sony Deville rehearsal for the Elimination Chamber match. They later posted it online. It's unclear if it was a WWE employee, a regular security worker, or a fan, but someone recorded it and posted it online. So that's all we know for sure. But you can't really blame them. Ronda was going to have one hand behind her back, so maybe they just wanted to make sure everything went well and went smoothly. As far as Ronda Rousey goes, she has a high chance to main event night one of WrestleMania for the SmackDown Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair. Will she be successful in the match or not? That's what we'll have to wait on. Speaking of the WrestleMania main event, there's some conflicting reports about WWE's original plans for WrestleMania if they weren't able to land Ronda Rousey. Some reports claim that WWE was considering a night one WrestleMania main event that would have been a fatal four-way between all four Horsewomen members 
of Sasha Banks, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and Bayley. We've seen quite a few WrestleMania matches with three out of the four women, but we've never had a WrestleMania match with all four at the same time. The last time all four of them were included in a big Fatal 4 was way back in NXT several years ago, and that was an instant classic that saw Sasha Banks come out on top as champion. So the idea of seeing another Fatal 4 away with the Horsewomen, especially at this point in their careers, where their characters and skills have all advanced, would be pretty interesting to see. Only problem with the idea is pretty much Bailey. Bailey obviously wasn't going to be on television during early 2022 either way because she was hurt. So the whole match would basically have to be built with Bailey missing a large portion of that build up. Also, the fact that Becky is on Raw, Sasha and Charlotte are on SmackDown, and Bailey is undrafted may have been an issue, but that plan was allegedly set to place if Ronda Rousey didn't agree to come back for WrestleMania 35. However, some reports claim that the Four Horsewomen match was never in WWE's plans, so who knows if those plans were real or not. But still, the idea of a WrestleMania Four Horsewomen match doesn't sound that bad at all. We've seen all four of them work together at the same time before, and that was magic, especially considering it was so early in their careers. So it definitely feels like something involving all four of them is long overdue. As far as actual plans for the Horsewomen, only two of them have confirmed matches at WrestleMania 38 at this given time. Becky Lynch will face Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's title. There's a lot of history and story there dating back to the events of last year's SummerSlam. So that'll be a massive match. Charlotte Flair is of course defending her title against Ronda Rousey. If she can successfully defend her title against Ronda Rousey, It'll be her first huge win against Ronda, and it will definitely be a big statement win for Charlotte. Sasha Banks and Bayley are the two horsewomen that remain without a WrestleMania match. Sasha Banks should be more than fully healthy come WrestleMania, so hopefully she does have a big match or big role on the show. Bayley is coming off a torn ACL, one of the hardest injuries to return from for an athlete. But WrestleMania takes place right around the expected 9-month recovery frame for her. So, depending on how great her recovery is coming along, Bailey would have a good chance to get physical at WrestleMania. So, 50% of the horsewomen are booked for WrestleMania. Now we just have to wait and see what they do with the other 50% of Sasha Banks and Bailey. But what are your thoughts on all of today's stories? Would you like to see the big gold title return? What did you think of the rehearsal video leaking of Ronda Rousey and Sony Deville? And what are your thoughts on the cancelled Four Horsewomen match? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.